<laughs> yeah, B. Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. So today I'm coming to you guys with a updated foundation routine. If you do want to know how I got this eye makeup look, please click in the description box down below and you will find that tutorial. So now I'm going to get started. As always, I'm going to color correct my face. I'm taking the NYX Orange Concealer and I am going to conceal my dark circles and correct my acne scars. If you do have acne scarring and dark circles, a colored concealer would definitely work. Um, it helps your foundation not to be ashy, especially if you're a woman of color, and it just helps balance everything out on your face. I love color correcting. Can't go without it. So now I'm gonna take my M439 brush from Morphe, and I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus spray, and I'm literally gonna dab the brush in my Black Opal foundation, and I'm going to pat the foundation into my skin. The reason why I spray the brush is so that the foundation applies way smoother and it just applies like a dream. Um, the reason why I'm not using my beauty blender today is because this brush gives you more of a full coverage look. Um, sometimes I go for the full coverage look basically most of the time but I just want to use this brush today and I absolutely love it. And I just pat it into my hairline by my ears, underneath my neck, and all that stuff, just so that it looks um, seamless and it doesn't look like I have on a mask. <laughs> so you just wanna pat that into your skin. And this brush is amazing, guys. If you are having trouble with foundation, use that brush. So now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. powder brush in my MSF in the color dark to set my foundation. And I'm just gonna press this powder into my skin this is gonna help my foundation not to move. It's gonna take away some of the oiliness from my skin, and it's just gonna help my contour later glide on smoother, as well as my highlight. So it just brings everything together. I love adding powder right after I do my foundation because it just helps everything glide on smoother, and it just looks better in the end. So I just press that into the skin, and I try not to swipe because pressing actually gets the product in there. That's really it for that step. <laughs> um, now what I'm gonna do is start highlighting. I'm taking the LA Pro Concealer in the color, um, I cannot remember the color now. I, oh, Cool Tan. And I'm putting that underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna take the same, uh, no, the same LA Girl Concealer but in a different color. This is in the color Fawn and I'm gonna put it on my hand first because it's really old and it's drying up. So I'm gonna pat my Beauty Blender on my hand and then tap in the Cool Tan. So I basically mix the colors together. And today I'm going for a really bold highlight. So I'm going to um, tap my damp Beauty Blender underneath my eyes. Um, this just conceals my dark circles as well as brings a lot of light to my face, which I really like. So I am just going to pat that underneath my eye and kind of bring it towards my temple. Um, like I said before, this is just going to bring the natural light back into my face. Um, and now I'm going to take like the butt of the Beauty Blender <laughs> and put some foundation on it to blend in that highlight highlighted area blend it in with the area surrounding it because I feel as though this helps like give it that seamless look and now I'm gonna take my Ben Nye banana powder which I absolutely love and I'm taking a brush and just setting my concealer the reason why I set my concealer is so that it does not move all day and the concealer underneath my eyes does not crease on me and it just looks flawless like all day so that's why I set my concealer underneath my eyes. So you also want to highlight the bridge of your nose, your cupid's bow, your chin, and you want to do your forehead as well. And all I'm going to do is blend that out with my damp beauty blender and just keep blending until it looks the way I want it to look. <laughs> Basically as blended as possible. And I'm just gonna pat that in and the reason why my beauty blender is damp is so that the product that I do apply to my face is blended out um, 
really well. So um, if the Beauty Blender was not damp, it would not work as well. I've tried it, trust me. <laughs> so just blend everything out. And like I said, I take the butt of the Beauty Blender and just go around the highlighted area so that it doesn't look like, I don't know, just like weird. <laughs> so just blend everything out, add banana powder to every highlighted area. So now I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm using the ABH palette and I'm using the color Fawn and I'm using a tapered Sigma brush and I am going in the hollows of my cheek. So basically this is where um, the light doesn't hit your face naturally. So um, I have natural contour lines on my face so I'm just gonna follow those. Basically I go in the hollows of my cheek as you can see right now and I'm going around my chin and my forehead so now I'm going to contour my nose because most of the time my highlight just makes my nose disappear so I'm just gonna contour my nose with this elf eye smudger brush and I'm taking that same color fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna contour my nose it just brings the depth back into my nose now I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm using a like small stippling brush to blend out that color. So <laughs> now I am going to go in with my blush. Today I'm using the MSF and Sun Power. If you guys aren't used to wearing blush or you're just getting started with makeup, I would suggest this because it's not a really harsh blush and um, it's like a mineralized blush or it's not really a blush per se but it's like a bronzer so I would highly suggest this this was like one of my first purchases from Mac and I absolutely don't regret it at all I love it it gives you like a sun kiss glow and especially for dark skin tones it's kind of hard to find blushes and bronzers for us but this is amazing I love it so definitely I would get this <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my MSF in dark and I'm going to go underneath my eyes to kind of blend out that highlight a little bit more and add a little bit more brown color to the highlight instead of it being so yellow. Um, yeah, it just adds a little bit more color to the look. <laughs> and you blend it out underneath your contour as well. And that's really it guys. So I'm just going to spray my face with some Fix Plus spray. So that's basically it for my full foundation routine. If you guys want to learn how to get this eye makeup look, click right here to take you straight to this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.